When you guys dropped the nebulizer, that was just after the Cursor 360 battle? Yeah. Yeah, it was Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, the 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 360 battle. So I'm pretty sure it worked out the timing wise. We'd already dropped a film clip. I think we dropped Watch Me Get 'em. So that had already dropped. So when he done the battle, that song was out. And then it was this, because of how big 360 was, he was massive, you know what I mean? And then it was become like, you know, it was more like, I guess if you were the underdog, you would like Cursor. And if you were sort of like, I don't know, more like a a normal person or whatever, you would go for 360. And it was like this massive rivalry, eh? Like, and every, and the battle, like... I haven't seen it for years, but I remember thinking, bro, it's so fucking close. Like, it's really hard to say who won that. And that was the mad thing about it, too. Because it's not like 360 smash Cursor, and it wasn't like Cursor smash 360. It was so fucking close. Like, I would watch it some nights, and I'd watch it, and I'd think, nah, 360 got it. You know what I mean? Like, just, like... And then other nights, depending on my mood, I'd be like... Nah, Cursor got it, like, Cursor got it, you know what I mean? Like, so, it was one of them things, and everyone was talking about it, bro, eh? So, I was like, that was the pinnacle of the the buzz, and it was perfect timing, then, boom, the Nebulizer just come out in the perfect timing, you know? And, yeah, it, it, went, it, went, it went hectic, bro, it was mad. And then the next year, so 2012... That's when No Rest for the Sickest dropped and you produced that whole album as well. Yeah, yeah. So this this one to me, because I knew how big the Nebulizer got, but I even I already said that with the Nebulizer anyway. Like any any project I approach, I always look at it like I've got to do the best, you know what I mean? I can possibly do on it, you know what I mean? Like, I did that with the... Like, it's like my own child kind of thing. It's like, it's my project, you know what I mean? Even though it's like, Cursor's rapping, to me, I feel like I'm trying to get Cursor to sound the best I can get him. Any little instrument or whatever the levels, because I mix the shit as well, I don't just send it off for other people to mix. It's like, every stage of it I fuck with, except the mastering, like... Nowadays, I'll master some shit by myself, but at the time, I still think it's a good idea to send a track to mastering, you know what I mean? Like, you can't do everything, you know what I mean? Like, the mastering guy's a mastering guy. So, I, you know, I do master my own shit, you know what I mean? But not all the time, like, just depends. If it's a fast, quick thing, I'll master it myself. If it's a big project or something, you know, I'll send it for mastering, but... Um, yeah, so 2012, uh, No Rest for the Sickest, um, I feel like, I feel like with No Rest for the Sickest, I sort of wanted to, like, go, not full back to the sampled, like, more boom bappy style, but with the production, I wanted it to be, because, like, the Nebulizer's quite quirky you know what I mean like it's kind of like it's got some like a lot of fun shit where I feel like where Cursor was at at the time it needed to be a bit more serious like you know than the Nebulizer I feel like personally personally like other people will probably have other opinions but I feel like out of the shit that I did with Cursor like I feel like he he was at the like, his best rapping at that point, like, I feel like, no rest for the sickest, like, the shit he was spitting then, it's like, I don't know, he just had it all together, bro, like, he just, it just all come together on that one, like, I feel like that one is personally my favourite, that one, out of the shit we did, you know what I mean, like, I feel like that is personally my favorite and then i have still a lot of 
um, cursor fans inbox me and that hit me up all the time and 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 a lot of they tell me oh yeah that's their favorite too a lot of them not all of them but a lot of them like that album like i feel like i think because i think both of us was sort of going through some personal shit of our own you know like so it wasn't all gravy at the time you know what i mean like it was sort of like we had our own shit we were sort of battling with you know um, and so it kind of like, we're kind of in a similar place. So then again, it kind of worked out to work in the music's favor. You know what I mean? Like it kind of made the music better, you know, like, and, and I feel like he was more personal on that album, you know, like, and the beats, I kind of wanted to make them more hip hop, but still keep the modern electronic vibe switch it up a bit, but keep it more like, um, just more hip hop sort of beats, you know what I mean? Where the other one, I felt like was trying to go more trap, but I felt like this one, keep it a bit trap, electronic, but put this more hip hop sampled element into it as well. Like just to make it, I don't know, it just seemed to be working. Whatever we were doing, it was working, you know what I mean? Like, and that one again, like I just put so much time effort into, you know what I mean? And, and there, that's definitely a personal favorite of mine. Like, you know what I mean? Like I hadn't, I hadn't heard it for years, you know, like, and then someone hit me up on, um, uh, this, this lad, um, Fasari James, he's like a young, young lad from Adelaide, actually. I don't know if you've heard of him, but He's a sort of up and coming rapper. He was hitting me up like saying, bro, that no rest for the sickest. He goes, man, that's the best shit. You know what I mean? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I haven't heard it for ages. You know what I mean? So the other day when I was on the, I, I, I was, I just thought, fuck it. I'm going to listen to it. You know what I mean? So I listened to the whole thing and I thought, nah, that is a sick album, bro. Like I still, I still think it, it's a mad one. I'm like proud of that one. You know what I mean? Like, I like it. And is that, were you on the tour for that album? And is that the tour where there was the shooting at the hotel room? I, I think, think it was that in was, Melbourne maybe. Yeah, no, I wasn't, I wasn't there for that one. I remember that though. I remember, um, I remember like, you know, cause he was getting big, you know what I mean? So there was sort of like a lot of jealousy that mixed with oh you think you're a real cunt like we'll see you know what i mean but every time he was managed to hold it himself down with enough boys and you know like he wasn't like a a, a put on cunt like he just didn't put the, the the act on he was lived to what he was saying and that you know what i mean so i think um no one really put him on show like no one no one got to him you know what i mean like I remember there was a time in Brisbane too when he was with Anta and Schemo too. There was that one too. I think that was probably the same tour actually. They ended up being a massive brawl, you know what I mean? Like, and they come out like unscathed, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But yeah, I remember the shooter and I remember thinking, fuck, be careful, bro. Like, but yeah, he was, it was lucky. It wasn't, you know, nothing happened, so. But yeah, I remember some some Gronk like was shooting at the motel or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Probably just thinking they're hectic. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> the 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 lesson. Oh yeah.